Well, this Friday sees the start of the 2019 Women's World Cup. It promises to be an enthralling tournament. It gets underway with the hosts, France, up against South Korea. Uh, Tom is alongside myself, Warren Ashurst, to run you through our thoughts on the tournament ahead. And firstly, Tom, let's talk about the potential favourites for this tournament. Uh, two teams in particular have caught your eye. Yeah, well, first of all, the reigning champions, United States. You cannot look beyond them. They're the only... Uh, team in Women's World Cup history to win the tournament on more than two occasions, claiming their third uh, title in Canada four years ago. They're the number one ranked women's team in the world as well. And in Julie Ertz, they have a really impressive performer. She won the golden ball at the recent CONCACAF uh, competition. And the United States come into this tournament having only lost one of their last 24 games. That was a friendly against France. So momentum seems to be with them. The team they beat in the final four years ago, Japan as well. I expect them to have a really good run in this year's competition too. They're another of the former winners. They've actually won it in 2011 and then reached the final in 2015. So they've got a really decent pedigree at the moment. They're the reigning Asian champions. And if we are going to get another a winner from Asia, I think they're going to be the strongest competing team. So for me, United States and Japan to go far. Well, I'm going to go with Germany and Brazil. Germany are another multiple winner, along with the United States of the Women's World Cup. They've won it on two occasions and they are currently ranked second in the world. I think with it being on European soil as well in France, that certainly edges towards their favouritism. Uh, looking at Brazil, it's hard to believe that they've not won the Women's World Cup before. They have some real quality in their ranks and Marta, in particular, the all-time leading goal scorer for the Women's World Cup is a player to watch out for. They recently won the Copper America and won all seven matches in that tournament. So they'll go into this tournament uh, full of confidence. So it's Germany and Brazil, the teams to watch for me. Although just a quick word on England as well, because Phil Neville has certainly got England one of the best prepared teams at the World Cup. Fitness conditioners uh, amongst the ranks uh, so far. They've really been working hard to make sure they're fully prepared for this. But a couple of disappointing recent friendly results may well leave them not where they want to be going into this tournament. So there are favourites in terms of what Tom and I believe could be the countries battling it out for the trophy. But we've also been looking at potential dark horses as well, Tom. And who are your selections? Yeah, I've picked out a couple of European contenders. They actually came through the same qualifying group in Norway and the Netherlands. Norway are another one of the former winners in this competition. Haven't been as good over recent editions, but signs they are starting to get things together. They topped that qualifying group with the Dutch and actually won the Algarve Cup as well earlier this year. So there's a winning pedigree starting to form with them. For the Dutch, as I say, they came through in second place during qualifying, a difficult qualifying group, as I mentioned. They are the reigning European champions, but they've never been beyond the last 16 stage at a Women's World Cup. I certainly expect that to change. Whether they can go all the way, I have my doubts, but certainly quarterfinals, seven, semifinals is a real, real possibility. Well, my two dark horses for the Women's World Cup are Spain and Nigeria. At Spain, with Irene Paredes, a goal-scoring centre-back, look a really solid outfit and they may well be one to watch. They were the first qualifiers from the European qualifying campaign. And as I said earlier on with Germany, I think being in Europe would also play into their hands as well. In terms of Nigeria, well, they've played in every single Women's World Cup so far. They've maybe not got as far as they would have hoped, but this might be their time to shine in the competition. They're the reigning African champions and certainly a team to watch as well over the next few weeks. So it is the Women's World Cup which gets underway this Friday. Just to remind you, the opening game is France against South Korea. And make sure, of course, that you follow us on social media on our Twitter and Facebook pages. And, of course, subscribe also to our YouTube channel.